Okay, so now we have to, you have to come sit too after you get kind of the tin body in your chair. As if we were really, really talking so that we're like, okay. I'm not trying to purposely talk at any level. Just talking. <clears throat> and my neck is prickly. You should give me a piece of gum before you squeeze that hole. That's a good background effect, Thomas is going to town on the water. Right. Well, hopefully he'll be gone in a minute, so. Thank you. See me pulling up my pants right there. Thomas, what are you guys doing? You guys stay over there. I'm going to do it. You can't. So. That's fine. We could do it right there in front of the fire, too. What are you gonna, what's gonna be, what are you gonna, three, two, one, action, you're gonna say. Who are you? That's really how you're gonna start? You're not gonna say, hey, this is Cheryl Lurie, and this is Kevin Conversation, or whatever, brought to you by Orbit Gum. Can I look good somewhere? Clean That's what I just said. Who are you? Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm ready. You're Curtis. I'm and I'm Cheryl. And this is Cabin Conversation. Okay. Conversation Cabin. This is. That's why I, they can be that casual, really. Like, Conversation Cabin. We gotta get used to saying our own slogan. <clears throat> okay, so let's just pretend. You're in control. You're the captain. Three, two, one, action. Who are you? I'm Curtis. And I'm sure. And this, this is the conversation cabin. There you go. So let's jump right into it then. <laughs> Give me a What's our w slogan? Line. Which one? Our slogan for CNC Conversation Cabin. The slogan? Yeah. Conversations your parents have never had? Oh, I thought that was the topic in general. See how confused I am um, about all this? That's our slogan, so it's all this conversations your parents might never have had. Right? Because that can't be the topic every time. Maybe the, the topics to rule are out the, the, the haters. They're like, my parents still have, they had the conversation. We're not talking to them now. Maybe we're like... Maybe some of you understand. Somebody, I wish somebody would have told me that. Well, yeah, but there are even conversations parents would never have. Like, do you think your parents would talk about why chicks would give up dick after 40? You know, not, not to be controversial or combative, but... They didn't I want could to talk see, about I could a why a particular one gave up dick after 40. And I was asking. Well, no, but I, I could just see a hypothetical situation where maybe if things were different with my parents and we were more like a talkie family union, unit, you know. That's and, what I'm and saying. mainstream things come up. Okay, we got to start this because we're already getting into it. Exactly. Yeah. But can, if we were more talkie-talkie, we would be the, a different family like ours. Because we talk to our kids about why why the fuck would a woman give up dick after 40? I don't have any idea, but I wouldn't. That doesn't seem natural. You see what I'm saying? It's the conversations your parents would never have. Not like, oh, they never have them. But they'd never have them. They just, whether they t came to you and had them, whether they just never had them, whether, you know, that's what I mean by Maybe we should make sure that. All right, maybe, go. maybe though. We got our tagline right. Not just, just completely with the parents thing. <laughs> what? The lights? Oh, God, it's so bright. It's really it's Dude. your beautiful face. I don't understand my other brothers from another mother. Flaxes? 
You know, they're always wearing the shirt to get it. Mm -hmm. When you're in the spotlight, you are literally in the spotlight. And now that it's time for me to be the number one rapper in my life, because there's some shit I want out there, boing, boing. Oh, yeah. We could my just pretend future. we're sitting in front of the, the sun. Yeah, my future is so bright, I have to wear shades. So are we, are we, on, are we on right now? Mm-hmm. Right on? So, so to continue our conversation, you're gonna call out action. We're gonna start fresh, or you're gonna edit that in. I'll probably just leave that for the first one. That was pretty funny and fun. Okay, so where were they? We so we you, were on. Oh shit! We should have started fire. We were on. Um, oh, our tagline: what it meant. Like why conversations our parents would never have. Like, not calling out our parents, just saying, I didn't have those conversations. Thomas, nope, you have to stay behind the line. You mean specifically our parents in general? Or no, just Conversations parents. that hypothetically parents probably uh, wouldn't have with kids. Yeah, they don't have with kids. Like, like we, ha we reserve, like, I feel like parents reserve some line with their kids. Like, oh, no, we can't talk about certain shit because I don't have the answers for that stuff. And to maintain my authority, I think there's some backline thing in why we don't talk about that with our kids. We talk, might, we might talk about it with other friends or other people, maybe, but maybe not, because we tend to be kind of secretive, except about the day-to-day -day stuff. You know, like we all drink coffee or we all sleep or we all shower, but like the stuff that the other stuff, you know, like. Like our sexuality and religion and politics. We don't talk about those things a lot of times. I mean, even I used to even have that saying. Like I used to tell you, like, I don't like talking about politics and religion with my family or people I care about because it's a heated topic. And it's like, well, I don't even think those are worthy topics to talk about for the most part. So, so but it's like, but what's within religion <clears throat> and politics that kind of gets us all... Sorry, but I didn't make no, that's fine. Wound up or distracted. You know what I mean? Like, why didn't we ever talk about those kinds of things with our parents? Like, why do we need politics? Why do we need religion? Why? I mean, like, why can't why can't we just be good people? What makes it so tough? Or what makes that challenging? Or why do we have secrets? Or why do we want to hide stuff? Or why are we ashamed? Or why, why? And past the just religion layer of, well, that's because that's how you were made or came and... You're a sinner. It's like, eh, I don't like that answer. Well, I think almost any topic that you could bring up for a religion or yeah. system would be something uh, I would say, well, I don't know why they wouldn't have talked about that. Because my parents had programming. So that I, I don't. Well, like, uh, yeah, but don't you think if we talked about some of these things or we're more open about them that there For would me, be less programming? For me, it probably would turn into conversations I wish my parents would have had with me. Right. <coughs> exactly. Because of authority and because of programming? Well, yeah, because the, I even repeated a lot of the same programming that my biological father printed on me which is I just go to work and it's the raising of all my people then I had to realize on my own wow all of my so-called adult relationships have all been met from the work environment and none of them have lasted throughout time and that's just maybe indicative of people's human nature in general but these so-called friends and it's like <clears throat> but probably pushed more because of the us getting into these boxes but, well, I of guess life because now I see that for myself, and I think my parents saw that in their own adult lives later, but we never really talked about friends and maybe meeting friends through your own common hobbies, which I was able to make friends pretty much anywhere I went. So I had a different set of friends from street racing and stuff, but. Or how to maintain friendships and relationships and what that means or, or you know why kids are like i don't know why we're not friends anymore or i just didn't know enough of my parents i gotta stoke the fire truth 
their individual truth. So between just all the standard go to school, go to church, do some sports. Programming, right? Correct. Like standard programming. You know, you have to spend your life outside, which was cool for me. It worked for me. Riding a bike, that was my best friend. You know. Uh, I also wasn't sitting at home in a spot where maybe maybe they did want to philosophize with me for a minute. But they were like, oh, he's not riding his bike. Have fun being six years old. We'll just let that slide until later. Well, then later never came because we weren't together. So. Oh, because that's when we got divorced or yeah. whatever. So. But I think conversations that if we actually had, things would be different with family, don't you think? Probably so. So we should maybe talk about something then to give people an idea of what that just may sound like. Well, or maybe, like. yeah, it, totally. <clears throat> and th I think that's why the clarification, but I think a, a big one is why we are doing what we're doing. I think that's a huge conversation, like specificity of life and picking the kind of life that you actually want to live versus picking who you think you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, like us being up here, our, our reasons for being here, like you just said, missing your kid's life or missing out on stuff because of the program. And it's like, we could have done what we're doing now, especially when we were 20 years old before we had five children in a far easier way. If, uh, you know, there had been some of those conversations because we wouldn't have been programmed with, you're just supposed to get out there and pick something. And not just saying, oh, the program, the program, <clears throat> the program, but I don't think there was any of that because of said programming. And so it's like, I think you have to kind of have more conversations to see that there's other perspectives and other ways to live. And you don't have to just pick, you know, the way that the standard, the standard, the uh, society person does going to school, you know, going through the system, being in the systematic ways of living and doing things, you know, with all the payments and debt and <clears throat> whatnot. But um, I think if we had more of those conversations that we'd, uh, we'd have more, and, and not even just the conversations, but if we started with them, then we'd live differently and we would have have less of them but if we did and it's like but us just even being here it's like living together without having a repetitive cycle of finding a house and finding dead and finding this and finding which is really what we go doing we go looking for it, it doesn't just come to us we're not all just suddenly in debt you know what i mean it's not like well it found me fuck i've been dead it's like no we made all the choices to get us there to that place of feeling like we have to do whatever we're doing or got you to the place where you feel like the what did you say of where you miss out on shit you know and it's because of there's no clarity around things everybody's just kind of in a hustle bustle and it's like if we had conversations about how you specifically spend your time like really specifically people would understand it better and it's like well no wonder you can't do that or you can't do this or you can't do whatever or why you are in this situation or whatever it's not because it's just what you have to do and if we had more clarity around our actual choices i think then you know we'd have a, a lot happier more flowing society of people and families especially we don't see so many especially our generation of families where kids and parents are separated and they have lots of layers of resentment between them or disconnection or whatever and it's based off of it from my perspective mostly program beliefs yep <laughs> so it's like i think you could pretty much have a conversation about anything and it's like and it, it it's relative and it's all the conversations i don't think we were having when we were kids because like you said, we were driven by authority, you know, and to maintain that authoritative role, it was, well, this is what we're supposed to do. This is how we're supposed to do it. And you too, you know, it's like, 
you're supposed to go to church, you're supposed to go to school, you're supposed to pick which side of the coin you're on for politics, and our parents, you know, try to influence us with what they believe or want, and it's like, but if we really start having these conversations, the things that you and I were asking why about when we were teenagers, you know, like, well, why that, or why this, or how come this, or what are the consequences, like, you know, we've talked about that, where I was asking why about everything, and you were just asking, like, okay, fine, but if I do it my way, what's the consequence of doing it my way? And so, I think we could really talk about practically anything, and even t the topic of talking about anything is the conversation itself, you know, like us doing this right here, it's like, man, that just that willingness to talk about it without having such a stuck position, you know, like, well, I believe it, I, I just, this is how it is, kind of like we were saying earlier when we were joking about growing up and my dad being like, you know, I'll disown you of this, or I'll disown you of that, not... Well, that's why Let's slogan. talk about what might be different than my belief or my way. He just flat out laid the law down on it. I'll just disown you if you choose that route. Well, that's why the slogan is cool when it's, I sold my soul to rock and roll, not I sold my soul to the status quo. Yeah. I sold my soul to programming. That's yeah. not so cool. Yeah, totally not. So, I mean, and for me, it's this is my life and my priority are us. The C and C, and our family. So I mean, anything you could talk about in that, and it's like, oh well, that's life. That's just a total encompassment of life. Um, and so yeah. So maybe we talk about the the rest. I don't even know how long we've been talking so far. Or how long this will be once we edit it. But maybe we continue with uh, our direction of conversation, be it like what we plan to do with all this, like why we're doing this. I mean, that's conversation. Any of this is conversations. A lot of times people just talk about money. You know, why they're doing what they're doing for money. And we have, there's more to it than that for us. It's, you know, it's not really about money. Because I, I feel like, because I can offer a uh, Luther, the anger translator approach to a different way that you may feel about things, but where we agree that what we're trying to do with our life is this is better served in general to go this route even though we may see why differently or whatever right if that makes sense yeah i don't know how to put that in words exactly real awesome though. well yeah and i think it's because we understand that spending all your time in a place that isn't for your own creation for dollars well, yeah, because I it's felt just, like the question was like, why am I, why am I here? What would you do in this part of our life? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Like, you know, why are we deciding to sit and have the conversation counter or cabin? Yeah. Hey, cabin? Yeah, no, that I totally get. Like, yeah, we might both have different directions for that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think even you doing this exactly it's like that's exactly why we're doing this is to share our our uh, perspective is how I feel about it is to share our perspective about life not to share having to do life exactly the way we do it but just looking at it from a lens right that's kind of why we're sharing and having these conversations is to share a perspective about of, of life to to people to uh from ours from our perspective from our our take, lens take of life from maybe a conversation that maybe your parents wouldn't have had maybe exactly to give a perspective and a conversation exactly to where it's like uh you can do with it what you will but if you had this conversation or if you had had this perspective or if you had an interjection that wasn't maybe politically based or religiously based or what else is there what's the other one education based based on the education because you know I got the three of I think there's definitely a specific push behind that it's like uh, 
I feel like us sharing that helps people free themselves from whatever the trap they're suffering in. If they're suffering under some political thing, they're like, this just weighs on me all the fucking time. You know, like friends we have that we know. I don't know if we've decided yet whether we're name dropping or not in our conversations. You know, like our friends always so. You know, but they get hung up in political shit. You know, to where they're just fucking stressed out about this political stuff. Or uh, sports. That's a good one. You know what I mean? All these layers of shit that people get so hung up in. Uh, and to, I say shit, you know, you know me as in saying shit in general, but I realize it's not shit, it's true stuff. But if you look at it through a certain perspective, for, from the, our, so to speak, lens that we've chosen to kind of look through, not because you and I were born with the exact same lens of perspective, it's because we have adapted to being able to see well, this might end up being a short series, and we might have to start a, series. a new series with a new name, because I've been able to write off so much of this world stuff once I, once I saw, once I saw the Matrix for like the hundredth time, and then I finally saw it, and then considered how, how rigged the system is. That's what I'm saying, it didn't it eliminate you from layers and layers and layers of horseshit, it just like, poof. Yeah, so I won't have, I guess, I won't have much to talk about politics. I won't have much to talk about religion. I won't have much to talk about sports. Well, that's what I mean. I and I don't either. I don't follow sports, but you have reasoning in within why you don't spend time on following sports, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so do I. You know, so that's a conversation. I mean, there's a million conversations. So then, um, and so that's what that's exactly what I'm saying. This whole one, this 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 first conversation is, I think, kind of is pretty cool because we're literally conversing about our thoughts and beliefs about conversation and what is conversation and what matters as conversation and what is topic. And well, like, that's mainly what I'm asking because that's what I showed up to do is have a conversation under the flying saucer. That's what light. we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and our and but we have to establish why we're having said conversations. So I think that's what we're that's at least what you said or what we were saying a minute ago about why we're doing this. Why are we sharing these conversations? What's our intent behind it? Is like because it helps it's to help other people free themselves from their own traps. And obviously we have our own agenda. <clears throat> Because everybody does something in life, right? Everybody works for something, everybody. But you and I clearly have a an opinion or we have a belief about all the things in the world that create conversation that is what soaks up all your time and all your energy for life. Mm -hmm. Which is, <laughs> I mean, what I think the conversation is about, the whole the whole topic, the whole agenda for uh, for us. We're like, that's what we like to talk about all the time. And then sharing that, because we can see the problems in the whole system all the time. We're like, yep, that's part of the program. Yep, that's part of the program. Yep, that's... And it's like, we may not be in those traps, but there's a million people that are. And we used to be in a lot of those. That's not why we used to weigh between us a lot more weight. I mean, we were a whole nother person. You know, and it's all those things that, for us, it's just like, oh, well, yeah, like you said, I once I saw for the hundredth time, well, yeah, but you've also had some, you, I mean, you've been having somebody live with you all the time, too. You know what I mean? And we've lived a little differently than other people. And we haven't been as systematic or religious or political or, you know what I mean? Not everybody's had those things. Some people were raised in politics like hard fucking poor. You know, or raised in religion like hard fucking core, and it's like, and they know they they have that thing like we did, where it's like, man, this just doesn't sound right, or this just doesn't feel right, or this just just doesn't whatever. But they just they're like they're struggling, you know what I mean? Like they're like we were, and maybe not mentally like fully aware that they're struggling, but like you said at times, I felt like I was struggling, and you were like, what do you expect? You know what I mean? That kind of 
that's struggling if you have that mentality towards life when you say it's kind of a struggle yeah. versus owning your own number one rapper as you call it you know what I mean it's like yes I do and so it's like that's what I think the motivation behind our sharing and our conversation cabin is because those can help people. Those can help people, you know. And obviously, maybe one conversation isn't free somebody's mind, but it's enough to spark an interest, or you know, enough to uh, help them in the direction they're wanting to go. It's just one little incremental amount of support or help or whatever until the next video or to the next or so till they find our <clears throat> course. We might end or up they, having a conversation. On a topic, instead of topics, with hopefully the outcome being that even if you weren't fortunate enough to have a conversation like this with your said parents, yeah. and if the lack of said conversation held you up somewhere, yeah, then this is now from an after after where we've let go of a lot of the programming and horseshit to begin yeah, with. Yeah, we're just going back to. A so we can, you know, maybe have the conversation for you to help yes. you remember, hey, you're the number one rapper. Anyway. Yes, exactly. Because maybe we have those conversations. It's like standing on the mountainside holding your hand down to the person below you. You know what I mean? You've already hiked up a little higher so you can stop and reach back and give them a hand. That kind of thing. It's like, ah. Uh -huh. Well, this is impromptu. You'll have to... Pardon my dryness. Well, this I one, thought we were actually going to have a conversation. We are having a conversation, conversation, but we're having a conversation about what our conversation... And this is improv, too, because we were just setting up the camera and seeing how this is all going to work. And then we started talking, and I just kind of jumped in on it with you. It was like, here you go. And so that's cool. But we'll, from now on, we can have, like, the list, you know? And we can share that with... Our audience, so that we have a list of topics and we can pick from that, and then we can be like, well, okay, let's talk to about go. this. Let's go. Let's talk well, I know we've been talking for a while though, so that's but, good. Okay. This this allows us to have our talk about the first thing, and yeah, we could we could say cut right here and be like, and we'll be a little more organized next time or whatever. But yeah. I just wanted to lay like the basis once we started talking about this and it got funny in the beginning especially I wanted to talk about I, it's that cool. it just went earlier when you stopped and then you were like we should have stopped and you were like we're picking up over that yeah pick so it I up but like, only I thought you were going to start bringing up the things that then start talking about no not topics right now this is just an introduction but we could like have a pause so Beep. we should we should stop it right so one file doesn't get too long and then start a new yeah one. for Let's sure but we gotta finish up and telling on why we're doing what we're doing. Not just to share, like we're sharing it, right? Because we feel like it can help people. And maybe video by video or conversation by conversation, it sparks someone's interest because they're like, man, I would have loved to talk about that with my parents. Or uh, maybe if somebody had asked me about that when I was young, that would have saved me a lot of heartache. Or maybe I wouldn't have made that decision if I had known that. Or if somebody was willing to, you know what I mean? That kind of shit. Uh, and so we're not necessarily talking like people that are in the same space we are. We're talking like people that are like our kids' age, you know? Or people that are our age but they're still struggling with shit. They're not in the same space we are where they feel like we do. You know what I mean? Where they feel like they're their number one rappers. Like, it's their life. It's they're in control. They're in, they're the authority of their life. They're like, no, man, I'm under control of... Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, whatever it is. Like, I know more shit than you, because I went to all this school. Because that's true, you know what I mean? People who have these layers of bondage they're under that keeps them limited or layered or boxed or whatever based on their education, their political beliefs, their religious beliefs. And so... We're going to talk about those to spark the interest. But to lead back to what? Like we were saying earlier. Because this is what we want to do. We are not interested in spending our time doing other things. We've already done that, been there, done that. We need to see better, different ways. And 
this leads back to our other products and services, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I'm so like, I, I didn't know we were going to have a question, question session about the questions of why. I just thought we were going to get right to it. Like, I'm ready to get right to it. For real. Well, we were, but we were just laughing and cutting up, and then we started recording, and we were talking about where we were having conversation with him. But we hadn't even picked a topic past that. Right? Not that I'm aware of. So then why are we going to get to it if we hadn't picked a topic? I don't know, but you're asking me a whole bunch of questions. Like, that leads us right back to what? It's like, I don't know. We didn't talk about this one. I thought we were going to talk about a conversational topic where you're asking me what I think, but I feel like you're asking me a whole bunch of questions I don't know the answer to because we haven't talked about that yet. Okay. For real? Okay. Well, maybe I should have stopped the camera either way because it's probably been going for quite some time.